Hey guys, Tyler here, and today we are going to do a tutorial in FL Studio 10. We are going to be making the the kind of synth sound here. I was just messing around in Massive, trying to I was trying to make an 8-bit sound actually, but yeah, that didn't work out. And so I call it 16-bit because it still kind of sounds kind of like it would be in a video game. But, anyway, where is it? It's pattern three. So, this sound. Hold on, you can't hear that. Okay, this sound. That sound we're going to be making. So let me just save this and we'll get started. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we obviously want to do is open up Massive. So channels, Massive, wait for it to load, and then there it is. So the first thing we want to do is whenever we're trying to make a sound, we always want to make it like we want was like it has to be blank, and so right now this is not blank. All these things are on and whatnot. So to get rid of that craziness, we just go up here to file and then new sound, and that's where we start. So the first thing is let's turn off what we don't need. We don't need this white noise, and we're not going to need this filter. I think, yeah. Let me double check. Yeah, we we don't need that filter. So for the, so we start off, and it should sound something like this. If you have that, you're on the right track. So now. To make it sound like 16-bit, we want to make it kind of, we want to drop the pitch a little bit. And so then it should sound like this. That's good. And if you, if these aren't all the way turned up, turn them all the way up. Okay, the next thing we want to do is turn on this oscillator and then make it go to digi. Did you cook one? Is what it was. And it should sound like this. It doesn't, it doesn't see it still sounds kind of 8 bit, but. I don't know. But it's getting there. So, we're also going to drop the pitch so that way could, they both be. They are both going to be in harmony. Jeez. And so then it should sound like this. Sounds a little bit better, right? I guess if I left it like this, it might sound a little bit but you know, it's not an 8 bit tutorial. So, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn. Hold on, let me check really quick. Yeah, we're gonna leave this amp all the way up. And so, we need to turn the intensity down a little bit, and, like, it should be around there, whatever, like, 2 o'clock. This one should be a little bit, like, in the middle between 2 and 3. So it should sound like this. And that's, not, that's sounding a little bit better now, so, we're doing good. Next thing, we're going to add a filter. So, for our filter, we're going to add Scream. And we want to just turn this one all the way up, this one down, and this one all the way up. Pretty simple. 
So if you did that, it should snap, start sounding a little bit better. Right? And we're actually going to make, if you just double click that, it'll make the sound more, it'll make it louder. But then it's more at an even point, so. Next, we're going to turn on some reverb, and for the reverb, we're going to turn this density all the way up and color all the way down. For the size, we want to leave it there, and then for the dry and wet, we want to make it like 9 o'clock, I guess. Yeah, like, like 9 o'clock. And then we can turn this filter off because we're not going to need that. So it should start sounding already pretty good. And you can mess around with these settings. Take my tutorials and like make them your own. You don't have to copy exactly what I do. But, so you can adjust the size. You see, so the, I'll, if if you turn the size all the way up, it'll make it so it'll sound more like a more of a full sound rather than just like this small sound. It'll give your whole song like a little bit more flavor and stuff. So, but if you have too much, it might get in the way. So that's why we kind of want to keep it lower. I just double clicked it and put it to the middle. We might want a little bit more I guess. That sounds a little bit better. Lastly we want to go down here and put um, what was it? Not that. It was, yeah, a sin shaper. And so we just want to turn both of these things down. And then we want to turn this on. So. You can tell the difference if it's not, whoop. Whoops. If it's not there, you can tell the difference. You can even mess with this. You can make it more wet. As you see, it doesn't sound. Just mess around. That's too much. Way too much. It's kind of weird with chords though. If you do uh, small, like if you do smaller chords, then it'll kind of sound bad. But if you do bigger chords, longer. It sounds a little bit better. So yeah, thanks for watching my tutorial. I'll put the link in the description to this, or if you like the other one, which is practically like this. That one actually makes it sound like you could do chords better with it, but we can do it where we had it, so like there and all the way up. If you do it 
it might sound a little bit more like bit sound. So yeah, I'll put I'll put the my original one though in the description below. And so yeah, thanks for watching guys. See ya.